Having a disturbing new twist in the case of two children who used to call the Valley home who are now dead. Newly unsealed court documents are revealing how investigators found J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan's bodies buried on their stepfather's property in Idaho. A warning though, the new details are gruesome and they may be hard for some of you with children to hear. Team 12's Erica Stapleton has been tracking this case for months. She joins us with tonight's late breaking details. Erica. At this hour, the children's mother, Lori Vallow Daybell, is behind bars, charged with desertion. Her new husband, Chad Daybell, also locked up, charged with concealing evidence. But in this newly unsealed affidavit, another name stands out. The children's uncle, Lori's brother, Alex Cox. This has torn up so many people. Pings from Alex Cox's cell phone, leading investigators to the gruesome graves of JJ and Ty Lee. It's destroyed people. Court records say Alex Cox's cell phone puts him on Chad Daybell's property for long periods of time, the day after Tylee disappeared in early September of last year, and also the day after JJ disappeared later that month. Those cell phone pings from Cox's phone leading police to the two spots the kids were buried in the backyard. And I just want you to know I came here for one reason. That's to see where, where JJ was. Records reveal that one body was dismembered, the head separated from the rest of the body, all wrapped up in plastic and duct tape. The other body in a pet cemetery near a fire pit. Investigators finding bones and tissue, some of them charred. And there's no need for this. Investigators first started looking at the Daybell property after a neighbor noticed more bonfires in the backyard. The documents also shed light on why the children might be dead. Lori's close friend, Melanie Gibb, told police Lori thought both kids had turned into zombies that were hard to handle and that Chad put the idea in her head. These doctors are dangerous and look what they lead to. They lead to people dying. At this point, no one has been charged in the children's death, but investigators say more charges are expected. As for Alex Cox, he died in his home in Gilbert back in December. The medical examiner ruled his cause of death natural, although police say it's an ongoing investigation. For now, we're in Phoenix. Erica Stapleton, back to you.